Hi, I'm Vic Teslin. Using the Veritas tenon cutter is perfect for making all sorts of rustic style projects, but just like any other cutter, they require sharpening once in a while to work best. Sharpening this particular cutter is easily done with a drill press. Let's see how to do that. To get started, remove the blade clamping screw and the clamping washer. Now that the blade is free, Mount the blade on the side flute in the body of the tenon cutter with the blade clamping screw only. Once the blade is secured, mark the edge with a dark colored marker so that you can track your sharpening progress. Now let's head over to the drill press. So here at the drill press, we're going to want to make sure that we've got the speed set properly. Anywhere between 1,000 and 1,700 RPM is really what we're looking for. In this case here, I've got the drill press set to 1,100. That'll work just fine. Also, you want to take into account whether or not you are trying to remove a large nick. A large nick, you should probably use an 80 grit drum for that. However, in this case here, we're just freshening up the hone. We're going to use the 120 grit. To sharpen, simply move the cutter into the spinning sanding drum. Check your progress often to make sure that you are not removing too much material. Stop once you have about a 30 second of an inch of freshly ground bevel at the edge. The final step is to remove the burr on the back side of the cutter by rolling on the outside radius on some fine grit sandpaper until that burr disappears. Now all that's left is to reassemble the tenon cutter and make any adjustments to the cutting depth as explained in the instructions.